Hello, how's it going everybody? Good to see you guys. Um, we're going to get started here in about 10 minutes. Let me just open up my browser because I want to see what you guys uh, are saying. All these troublemakers, such. Right, let's see. Hold on one second. No, I'm not hearing this. I'm, a, I'm assuming if I'm not hearing it, you guys probably aren't hearing it either. So give me one second. Let's see if I can't fix this. Okay, there we go. Never mind. So that was just, I actually turned that off for a reason. Uh, okay, here we go. Just leave the free keys with me, Musu. I'll be sure to distribute them, says Audi. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, guys. So we will return uh, very shortly, actually. We'll be playing some um, Afghanistan 11. Um, so give us uh, about 10 minutes, maybe a little less, and we will get started. That was the advertisement that played when I uh, checked the sound to make sure everything was working. Unfortunately, there's not much we can do about that. Okay. Let's see. Uh, tell me if you guys still hear me right now. If you do, type 1, 2, 3. So this is what happens when we put, put our mic on mute. Uh, it looks like the mute service for XSplit is not exactly working. Oh, thanks, Mildolf. We might do that in the future. We'll have to wait and see. Thank you, Kilania. So, yeah, it doesn't matter if we click mute or not. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come through anyway. Um, I would love to, uh, to do some giveaways of my own, um, but, of course, I'm kind of focused on the game, so it's not, as, it's not always so easy, uh, but it's definitely something we can do in the future for sure. You clearly need more slits, says Audi. <laughs> Speaking of which, I think I should log in here. There we go. Now I can get some slits too. Wonderful. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, not bad. All right, guys, so as people are actually getting into the room, um, I'm going to go over this now, and then I will go over it later. Um, and basically, the, the issue is a lot of the times when we play games, and this isn't true with every game, but for instance, Afghanistan 11 is a good example. Um, we don't ever end up actually finishing the mission, and, you know, that's partly due to time constraints, any number of it, other issues, um, or we're not doing the best the best. So in the future, and this is not necessarily going to be the case with Afghanistan 11, but in the future with um, a lot of our newer games, we're going to start basically dedicating a day to finish up that stream. So for instance, if we don't finish the stream on the first, you know, run around, we'll save the game and we will actually come back. I know a lot of times we say we do, we will come back, but we end up coming back three weeks later, four weeks later, or, or not at all. And that can certainly affect uh, some people's perception of the stream. So keep that in mind. Uh, that's definitely a plan we have here for the future. Oh, Zach! Ouch. Exactly, not one step back. Now watch this, here we go. Oh, yeah, I got actually lucky on the all this time. I don't usually, so that's uh, that's good. That's a good sign. It's a, a good omen for the stream, isn't it? I'll take 2,000 slits. 
Hey, Zach. <laughs> For Zach, it's easy. Zach wins money pretty easily here on the uh, Slist board. Like I said, Zach Blood is our, uh, our Baccarat player. He likes to play really big amounts. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, I can't actually spend them, so, you know, I work at the company, so I'm not allowed to spend my slips, so I'm a, I'm a little more, um, how could I put this, a little more liberal with them. I like to just kind of throw them everywhere. I don't want to do another roulette, though, because it feels good to have some slips. It really does, so let's let's do just a small, small roulette here. No! Oh, that's not good. Thank you for letting us know about that. One second. Let's see if we can fix that. Echoing on Twitch. Uh, hmm. What could be causing that? That's a little weird. Make sure that you've turned off all your Twitch screens, number one. I'm going to do the same. We've got just one up right now, and it's paused. No echoes here? Okay. So maybe um, Audi's got... Um, any JFK-related games from Slytherin, says Mildolf. Ah, uh, yes, 22nd of November tomorrow. That's actually really interesting. Um, so, of course, the, uh, the well, I don't want to say this, the, the, like, the anniversary for a, for a murder sounds kind of weird. Uh, but, yeah, the anniversary of JFK's assassination tomorrow. That's going to be tough. Yeah, no worries. We got them all up there. Um, we actually have them behind this little thing right here. You can see right there. In fact, we can go ahead and show you guys the screen at this point. We'll get rid of the live soon. And uh, we've got everything set up here. Oh, okay, you had YouTube going as well. <laughs> That's what it was. I knew something was weird because I've done it myself. It feels like you're stuck in some sort of horrible time warp. It's like, no, this must end. Very cool. So we're probably going to go ahead and get started just like we did last time, jump into the game. Um, and I already have an idea of what mission I want to take, but we're going to be very, very careful. Um, well, maybe it is. Maybe it is. It's actually funny because um, I'm, I'm pretty sure <laughs> that is my actual... Um, that is in reference to me, because that used to be one of my uh, actual Steam names, was Don't Flatter Yourself. I wouldn't be surprised. There was a Buster one, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, which is mine. Let's take a look here. Yeah, we're going to jump in real soon, boys and girls. Any game, uh, rec game recommendation regarding the first Gulf War? The uh, the one I can recommend right now is um, the Operational Art of War 4. There is an entire Gulf War scenario. Not only is there an entire Gulf War scenario with realistic forces, realistic uh, planes, etc., um, and realistic statistics, there's also a Gulf War scenario um, with an alternative history scenario if China had invaded Iraq instead. Um, and Audi says, and it's fantastic, and yes, it definitely is. And the China one is also really, really cool. Of course, instead of attacking the country from the south, from Kuwait up through Iraq, uh, you're attacking from the north, uh, or actually from the east, sort of, which actually really makes sense. 
Okay, guys, we're going to get started here on Afghanistan 11. Um, so, uh, first things first, I want to make sure settings are okay. Uh, looks like to me the volume's a little low, and I know our volume's working because we just played that horrifically annoying advertisement um, for Kellogg's. Sorry, Kellogg's, we don't like your ads. Uh, let's go ahead and minimize this, and okay, let's open the volume mixer. We might have turned this down a while back. No, seems okay to me. That's strange. Not sure why uh, it's not working. We've got game volume all the way up. All right, that is strange. Um, I do want to see if we can fix it. Hold on, guys. I'm going to exit the game and restart. Uh, so as you can see, we can hear the game button just fine right there. Let's play again. There we go. That's more like it. Okay, very cool, guys. So... Uh, let's get started, and I think what we'll do that's, uh, this time, last time we played the campaign, we could continue the skirmish we were in, but I'm not that crazy. Um, let's do the turn count. Let's put it down to 45. So we're going to lower the turn count for this game to see if we can't finish maybe one game. Weather is going to be mild, terrain tight. I'm going to make it mixed. Uh, elections on, yeah, just about everything on. Let's go for it. Now, of course, this is a totally uh, skirmish-made map. It's a random build. So if you guys look at the terrain seed um, right under the description, if you want to go ahead and save that terrain seed, you can ob obviously use it later if you happen to like this map. We're going to jump in um, and see what it's like. So right now, the president of Afghanistan is Mus Mus Muslim Mohammed. That, that sounds a bit jokey right there. Muslim Mohammed. Um, okay, fair enough. Um, intel from Village is down 20%. So the social reform, he's very much a Taliban. He doesn't believe in social reform in Afghanistan, but in terms of press freedom, defense policy, and infrastructure, he's very much on our side. Um, so this is actually not a bad president to have in the area. What I do want to do is take a look around the map here and see what we're dealing with. Uh, it looks like we're dealing with a very mountainous region. That's not good. We need to make sure that we can make contact with a lot of these villages, or most of them. Um, so as you can see, there's some villages over here. I think we could probably just build a highway going through the desert here to connect those two areas. And then, of course, we've got some villages up here, but we're not going to worry about them now. Um, and all things considered, this is actually a pretty small map for what I'm used to. Now, for places like the Paybank and Nangalam, I love that the name of this place is Paybank, um, we can take a chopper and fly over there. Uh, but we're going to slowly do that very, very slowly. Cool game today, but my eyes are set firmly on Thursday, says Byron EXP. Uh, let's see, what's Thursday? What's Thursday? Somebody tell me. Here we go, guys. What are you guys so excited for? Okay, now, first things first. We have no units here. We need to go ahead and start purchasing some. Uh, so I'm going to purchase some U.S. infantry, first of all. Let's get three of those. Let's get three MRAPs as well. Actually, we'll get two MRAPs. Sorry, we just don't have that kind of cash. We'll get uh, one U.S. Special Forces unit. And with our U.S. Special Forces unit, I'm immediately going to start training an ANA howitzer. ANA, of course, stands for the Afghan National Army. Uh, we'll grab a husky, and maybe we'll grab a buffalo as well. We're going to need to support these villages one way or another. I want to get that Black Hawk too, but I might wait a turn. Then again, if I wait, I'll never buy it. I'm getting the Black Hawk, and I'm going to get two supply trucks. Let's hope this works out. First things first, let's get this husky out there. And actually, we could go ahead and make a convoy. So I think we could try to make a convoy now. Um, first, I want to get these MRAPs outfitted with men. So let's go ahead and pick up the U.S. Infantry here. And in this MRAP, we're going to pick up a U.S. Infantry squad as well. And we'll actually make the... Make the uh, we're going to have to make the Husky lead the way, quite frankly. So we're going to take the Husky first... Then we'll take the Buffalo, then we'll take the MRAP, and we'll take the other MRAP. Yep. So here we go, convoy time, guys. Right away we detected an IED. Thank goodness we did not send anyone out there uh, that didn't actually need to go. Now I do want to break off eventually with that Buffalo, because we need to actually build a water tower at this village. 
But we also have to consider the fact that we've got two villages over here that we need to check out. I might actually send some of these guys back. Uh, there's still a village here and a village over here as well as one there that we want to take a look at. But we want to be careful how we approach these things. So I'm actually going to take this guy. He can't head there now, but next turn he can head to the other village. So I'm actually going to dismount this particular unit. Thank you for the new intel. Nice. So actually give us a nice uh, IED detected. Let's go ahead and sweep the area for mines. And I'm going to move this way. I'm hoping that we don't get tagged by one of the enemies. And I'm almost tempted to go ahead and purchase another Husky, but I think that's a little bit dangerous. Uh, what we will do is with Echo Squadron, I'm going to pick up Charlie Company. And we are going to head out immediately to start checking out these villages that are not so easy to get to. So let's go ahead and drop our boys off here. Here we go, boys. We do want to build a base soon, but it's going to take a while. Alright, let's take a look here. Ah, yeah, that's right. You guys are looking for some um, Field of Glory 2. Immortal Fire, indeed. I can't wait myself, boys and girls. Alright, I think we've got enough units here. Um, oh, didn't even mean to do that. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and just deal with it. Uh, I could put him in a defensive position. I think we'll leave him here. We've got some supply trucks, so I'm actually going to load one of these supply trucks up with uh, up with UN supplies, and we're going to go ahead and try to get them to this village over here. We don't have to worry about gasoline or fuel right now. It's pretty much uh, under control, uh, but we should be careful. So let's end the turn. I really want to buy an Apache too, but I think we need to be extra careful on this mission. All right, so we're actually near Marja, and uh, Marja province, of course, this is not actually Marja province. Um, but Marja Province is actually known as a very dangerous area. Um, so we're in a town. I'm sure Marja is actually probably a pretty common town name uh, in the Middle East. So as you can see, this guy's separating from the convoy, hoping he doesn't hit any IEDs, although I'd expect one right there. And we can actually pop the infantry out pretty soon, but I'm actually going to wait till next turn, get them up right close and personal, and then drop them off. As for these units, we're going to take a look at this village right here. And another thing is, you know, with a lot of the other villages, you can basically get them to your side by building water towers, building roads. But as for villages like this, uh, that are up in the mountains, it's very hard to actually get them on your side. Now, one little trick I can give to you guys is you can always build a Chinook. Uh, Chinooks are capable of building certain buildings. Um, I think they can build water towers. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, but Chinooks are definitely the way to go if you're trying to establish um, well, assistance to those villages. So there we go. We actually delivered some UN aid. Let's hope that no IEDs are waiting for us on the way back. Ooh, that would be a very, very scary ride for sure. Um, I'm going to pick this unit up, first of all. Before I move forward, I'm moving forward with these guys. But first, I'm going to take this buffalo, okay? And we're going to build a water tower. So this water tower actually gets us some, po some political points, which, of course, is very useful. Um, and eventually, this thing is going to build our base for us. And I'm pretty sure I've got a nice location for our base. It's going to be a little close to our main base, but I'm going to put it basically over here um, on the other side of, these, of this mountain range. We should not be moving forward with our buffalo, but what can I say? Bad habits die hard. Here we go. Not a single bomb. That's, that's a little creepy. These uh, Taliban are a little too nice for me. They're not usually this nice. And hello, welcome, Pele Pepe. Thanks for joining us, man, or madam, or, you know, uh, let's, uh, let's keep going. Okay, um, hmm. All right, so for now, I'm just going to wait, once again, um, ending the turn here, turning it over to the enemy. Let's keep looking for IEDs. I'm sure we're going to find one down here, because we actually got a tip off. So let's do that. Boom, nice. And it actually increased our uh, respect in this town by one. Now, we have to be very careful because we're now going to be moving our buffalo to this village to go and build a water tower nearby. But obviously, he's he could very easily lose fuel or, or become out of fuel. Um, so we do want to be very careful how we move this guy around. It looks like he can't build the water tower yet. It's a little strange. He should be able to. Maybe not. 
No, I guess not. I guess we're going to have to wait till next turn to build the water tower. Uh, but we could get the base started. Not this turn. Maybe not even next turn, but maybe the turn after. Uh, let's see. Where's our wonderful, wonderful Black Hawk? There it is. But instead of sending the Black Hawk out, we're going to send this guy out. And we're actually going to drop our boys off here. All right. Village is uncooperative. Confirmed. No IEDs. Let's pick our boys up and move to the next village. And again, on this road, we're using no IED defenses whatsoever. That could definitely lead to a problem. See if anybody else needs help over here. I want to try and check out every village that needs help should receive some of our assistance. Um, in fact, we could actually drop the guys off there, making it a lot safer for the MRAP team. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to pick our boys up. Charlie Company. And Charlie Company is going to drop off in that village. Good luck, boys. You're going to get a medal for this someday. I promise you that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We spotted some militia uh, units. Now, unfortunately, our howitzer is still being built. We could buy a howitzer and probably reach that guy, but that would be a waste of money. So instead, we're going to call in an airstrike here uh, from our F-18s. Uh, actually, F-16s. Oh, we downgraded a bit. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and try to hit this guy. Yes, that is an affirmative kill right there. We don't even have to bury them. The mountain will take care of the rest. Um, and, of course, it also improves our standing with this village right here, which is really cool. Uh, but another thing I want to do is bring this MRAP over here to the village uh, and start, of course, patrolling the area. We also need to get some special forces um, to wherever we decide to place our base because they're going to actually train the, um, the Afghan National Army units that are going to be left here once we leave the country. And that will happen. Will happen. I promise you that. Let's pick these guys up. Come on, boys. Get back on board. Let's get out of here before we get a Black Hawk down. And at this point, we could probably move this guy back. Uh, unless there's other villages up here. And no, there's nothing. So they get some R&R. &R, some rest and recuperation. We just had Pele Pepe and Mr. Pele. Are these two different people? That would be a dramatic coincidence. All right, here we go, guys. We're going to end the turn. Of course, we still got some continued missions. They just ended right there. Convoy attacked. Some supply trucks have been decommissioned. The Taliban has claimed responsibility for an attack on a military convoy that killed at least 17 people, including foreign and U.S. military. Wow. In Kabul, initial... In Kabul. Initial reports indicate that the vehicle was attacked in the early hours of the morning with an IED. So some supply trucks have been decommissioned. Luckily, we didn't actually take many supply trucks to begin with. Um, so hopefully this isn't going to affect us too badly. Uh, now I am going to go ahead and build this, the uh, water tower right here. And I'm also going to build the base. So we've got our FOB. This is where I'm putting it. Check out the village, boys. Sure enough, another Taliban unit. We're one turn away, just one turn away from getting that um, that actual uh, howitzer. You know, I'm tempted to buy one. I'm really tempted to do that, but I know we need to keep the money. We can't just be spending it here and there. So let's let's hold on for now. We just got to accept our situation. We're not going to keep getting money from our own government um, if we don't do this properly so we just can't we can't just be spending money willy-nilly left and right we've really got to be careful i'd love to kill that unit but i don't think we can do it uh let's see our mortar definitely can't reach all the way over there although that is a funny suggestion all right let's go ahead pick these guys up and keep on moving send the husky right up here and eventually we're hopefully going to get enough political points um, to be able to build that road connecting this area over here with this road up here. That would make it a lot easier for our guys to move around, I think. Let's check it out. Still got that Blackhawk. So far, everything seems good, although we could send the Blackhawk over there. It's actually not a bad idea. So let's pick up uh, Bravo Company. And we'll move him next turn. We're just loading him onto the chopper for now. Continue. Continue. 
All right, we're losing some fuel, um, unfortunately, and it looks like the enemy attacked one of our water towers. This starts to complicate things a lot. So I'm gonna move this guy back, of course, over here. We're gonna have to bring him some support. So we're gonna have to bring him some fuel. Now we could do that one of two ways. We could either get a supply truck to drive from here and bring this guy fuel and not get blown up. I'm gonna take that method and I'm gonna hope that it works. Um, we are gonna send the MRAP out in front of him. So let me actually pick up Bravo Company and let's send the MRAP out, make sure there's no enemies blowing things up in this general area. We're setting IEDs. And now we can take the supply truck. So we actually could have made a sort of um, convoy there. I didn't need to do it this way. Collect fuel. And start moving. This is a perfect target for an enemy ambush. But we've got to accept the situation right now. Um, this husky will be out of fuel by next turn, but hopefully he can at least check this area out. Not a single IED. Man, these... We, we've come across some of the nicest, friendliest Taliban in all of Afghanistan. I mean, at this point in the game, we've already been hit so many times most of the time. Uh, I'm a little surprised by these guys. So I am going to drop my infantry unit out. I'm going to get right on the road here, and I think they can make it right into town. Sure enough, they can. Right there. So we've got some militia spotted, and we have our ANA howitzer finally, guys. Let's open fire on that militia unit. 67% chance. Boom. Oh, they escaped. They escaped. But um, at least we scared them away. They know we mean business now. And we've got to bring in that. Nope, we're not going to bring in the supply yet. We'll wait until next turn. End the turn. Confirm the end turn. And I'm going to go ahead and give this guy some supply. So let's deliver fuel to him. Guzzle it up. Guzzle it, guzzle it up. And here we go. We're going to repair the water tower. Nice. This guy actually needs to check out this village because they're asking for our help. When you see burning tires in the center of the village, that lets you know that they're calling for your help. We did spot some militia units, and sure enough, we do have some good old-fashioned F-16 bombardments for them. Yes, another one down. Another one bites the dust. Uh, unfortunately, we are going to have to bring some fuel to this guy right here. I hate having to do that. And this is something else I didn't know, but apparently you can drop emergency supplies at towns. Um, I knew you could drop emergency supplies that you delivered from your actual base, like, you know, uh, NATO supplies, but I didn't realize you could actually drop them from your town. That's really cool. Let's keep moving. And, yeah, these guys have checked this area out. We're going to have to wait for the MRAP to be back in fighting shape. Uh, we can pick the guys up, but we're going to need to deliver some fuel. Okay, let's see how our Blackhawk is doing. So actually, I'm a little confused here, and the reason being, I, I think I'm going to have to actually take the Special Forces. Um, I might have to leave the infantry here, because we need to get those Special Forces um, over to uh, the forward operating base so that we can actually start training some Afghan National Army units. So I'm going to go ahead and do just that. Remember, we didn't go for the standard 60 turns. We went for 45. So any mistakes we make here could be deadly. Let's see if we can get the supply truck back. Careful on those roads. There's a lot of potholes. Love if you just blew up there. We could blame it on poor infrastructure. Yes, exactly. Uh, Zach Blood mentioned it earlier. Random seed, uh, seed number, so infinite replay. Very true. Um, yeah, I mean, when you play skirmish mode, you could have literally millions, uh, maybe maybe hundreds of millions of different maps. Uh, it's, it's really randomized. Okay. I want to get this buffalo close to this town. Because this guy is going to be responsible for actually uh, bringing water to these towns over here. Also, pick up my boys. Send them in here over over here as well. And actually, the MRAP does have some slight resistance to mines. Uh, it's not totally, um, you know, unguarded. The MRAP actually can uh, withstand an IED blast. I think it's 20 to 30% of the time. So it's not, you know, a definite kill, but it's obviously not good to be driving over IEDs. It's just not something you want to do. Uh, okay, end the turn. Yep. We're still good. We're still good. Let's drop these boys off. Copy 
Okay, are you a special forces? As you can see here, we're going to start training ANA infantry. Uh, I will keep the Blackhawk squad here for now. No real reason to move it. Also, kind of a cool thing is our forward operating base, despite not being in the greatest spot, uh, it's quite close to this town. So I'm thinking that if anybody tries to mess with that water tower, we'll probably be able to spot it uh, before they they move through. Now, as you can see over here, our vehicle is damaged. Um, there's any number of reasons why that could be the case, but it's more than likely a response to enemy fire. Um, so I am going to go ahead, drop some emergency supplies here to the MRAP. We're going to move the Husky forward again. I know he's been down here, but you never know how fast these Taliban can set up uh, mines. Uh, and I'm going to try to drop this unit off. Come on, boys. Oh, we've got a poppy field. Well, you didn't want to give us any information. Now we're going to burn down your crops. Too bad. So it would actually take us three turns to get there without the MRAP. But taking the MRAP is a bit of a risk. Um, well, let's go for it. Oh yeah, look at that. We can get it this turn, guys. There we go, burning down the poppy crop. And look at how that's going to affect the town here. Actually, plus one, no, wait, minus three. I, I knew there was something up there. So we did get plus one overall um, in terms of available political support, but we got minus three uh, hearts and minds, or vice versa, one or the other. That's pretty nice. Burning down the enemy's drugs. Uh, what were you asking, um, Cable, in reference to Vietnam 65? If you want to re-ask, I can try to answer. It's a, uh, it is the, I guess you could call it the prequel or the precursor to this game. I love Vietnam 65. Um, although I would say Afghanistan 11 has a few more features that Vietnam 65 does not have. That being said, awesome game. Let's drop this guy off. Come on. All right, very tiny little village here. We'll sweep for IEDs. I don't think we're going to find anything. Pick our boys up, head back out. Back out into the Triangle of Death. All right, let's send the buffalo back. Actually, this buffalo is going to do something amazing. He's going to build a water tower for that tiny, tiny, insignificant village. So we've still got these two villages behind us. One of them is looking for help. Obviously, getting over there without a helicopter is very difficult. Um, so we're probably going to have to bring that Black Hawk back. Now, that's unfortunate because I wanted to be able to use it to send out my special forces into the east eventually. But we can always return. Um, so for now, we're going to send them back. It's going to take them three turns. Get that three turns to cover all this terrain. Uh, that just goes to show you the, the vastness of this area. You know, this area doesn't represent all of Afghanistan. This represents just the area we're controlling. So a very tiny, uh, maybe one one thousandth of the country, maybe even less. Okay, let's end the turn. And when I say us, I'm not, I'm not talking about the, uh, the coalition forces. I'm talking about specifically our brigade. So this is interesting. No, those guys aren't going anywhere. Confirm. Okay, guys, we got to vote for a new president. And I'm liking Muslim Hamed. I mean, he's not bad at all. So I am going to vote for him again, try to get him reelected. Uh, we could, of course, invest in his campaign, but I don't want to, number one. Um, number two, we really don't have much money to invest in his campaign. Uh, and look at this. Uh, I thought I was wondering what that was on the map. This has got to be new. So it kind of looks like, if I'm not mistaken... Like people with their hands up, standing in a line, sort of in support. Again, I could be mistaken. It could be a broken water tower. No, it's not. And look at that, guys. American flag. These guys absolutely support us. And over here, well, this is our base. So, of course, they're going to support us. Uh, but the American flag on that town shows that we're doing a good job um, at getting the people there to, uh, well, to like us, basically. Okay, get back on the road, son. Pick them up. And we'll send the Husky. We're Oscar Mike. Copy that. Copy that. Here we go. Copy solid. And look at that. They asked for help as soon as we left. That was fast. All right. So that's that's not a good sign for this village. And sure enough, they showed us the location of a Taliban um, technical. 
Um, a technical is essentially a truck with a machine gun or a uh, turret gun on the back. It could really be either. I mean, you could have an anti-tank gun on the back, although it's your your vehicle is going to be pretty badly damaged after after that pounding. Um, you know, I'm sure you're going to have to buy new tracks. Uh, overall, though, those technicals are definitely a threat. We want to keep our eyes on them. But there's not much we can do about them now. Not without buying an Apache or calling in an airstrike. And we're still waiting one turn for an airstrike. Also, very bad news, hearts and minds. Political support is down right now. Uh, I believe if that remains down for three turns, we lose the game. So I'm going to see if there's anything we can do. I'm going to grab some UN support here and deliver it to our pro-US village. Let's hope that this helps. What we really need to do, though, is spot some enemy units. Uh, and that might take the drone. We might have to use the drone to try and recon the area. For now, we're going to continue. Oh, look at that. Sure enough, we've got a Taliban unit nearby. Seal raid disaster. Oh, no. Extra militia units have just entered the theater. A daring nighttime raid in Kunduz, northern Afghanistan, ended in disaster, with the elite SEAL Team 6 retreating just an hour after launching the attack. While the exact details are unclear, it appears the U.S. military units were spotted on their way towards their target building, losing the element of surprise. So that's a little annoying. I mean, basically, our SEAL units didn't execute their mission properly, but luckily they're all okay. Nobody's dead. Um, first thing we want to do is grab our mortar here. We've got a nice M120 millimeter mortar. We're going to fire at the uh, team right here. Aha! All right, they escaped. They definitely don't want anything to do with us. Um, and we've got our first ANA infantry. We're going to send these guys closer to the village. I love the way the ANA infantry look. Just really cool. Uh, I am going to use a drone to recon this area. And look at how many Taliban units are here. So let's see if we could call an airstrike. I think an airstrike is 600. No, it's 400. Nice. Uh, let's go for it, guys. Here we go. Wish us luck. Oh, I'm not actually sure. No, I don't think we got him. Um, definitely no animation showed up. But even just ignoring the animation, we didn't actually get any points. So we definitely did not get that Taliban unit. We're going to go down this way just to check for IEDs. And we'll continue forward with our MRAP. All right, we can land with a chopper now. He's almost out of fuel. One more turn and he would have crashed right into the desert. Our UN aid here. Nice. I'm gonna try to get this guy as close as we can to base because he's almost out of fuel. And uh, we might have to send that chopper out next turn to check on this village, check on that village, and, of course, check on the village right there. Let's take a look here at the chat. Ah, oh, he was wondering if what Zach said about the scrim... Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, Zach, you, you answer that perfectly, actually. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty much the same. Um, you, you could still set up a map. I, mean, I, I would be careful, though. Just like you can get um, certain maps on here, um, on the seating, if you're not careful enough, that are unplayable, like basically just one giant desert. Uh, I've had some in Afghan or in uh, Vietnam 65 where you basically just have jungle everywhere, uh, nowhere to hide, a ton of rivers cutting you off. So you definitely want to be careful. Um, but yes, you, you absolutely can do the same. Let's go. All right, we got to leave that chopper there one turn at least. And our special forces, we're actually going to have them train more ANA units, but eventually I'm going to send them into the mountains. For now, though, we do need these ANA units. There we go. Taliban spotted, sure enough. I'd really like to get an Apache now. We've got so many Taliban spotted. Okay, let's move in here with our Afghan units. They're uncooperative, but we're just trying to help them out. Come on, guys. We don't want any battles with you guys. We just want to help you guys. So many Taliban. Let's just look at all the enemies here. If we just had a few strikes. I mean, this is why I think for this mission, we may need to buy an Apache, even if it uh, eats into our bank account. Because with that many enemy units, we could be getting kills left and right. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is get the Blackhawk. Just pick up our Charlie company. And drop them off here. 
See if we can spot any more enemy units. Maybe a poppy field. That would be great. Wow, it's just a Taliban unit, but or it's actually a militia unit, but it's actually quite close. 55% chance of a hit. It's definitely a flip of a coin. Let's go for it. Oh, they got away. Come on, boys. They got away. All right, let's pick them up. Good to see that those howitzer rounds are going to a good cause, though. Okay, now we have a decision to make, guys. We, we could actually send our units back to fight here. I'm not sure I want to do that. I also see some units up here um, in a sort of sniper's position. So I'm just going to keep moving. Um, maybe it's cowardly, but it's what we have to do right now. Um, we can't just fight these guys. Or can we? 50% chance in the MRAP. This thing gets destroyed next turn. Let's engage. Oh, we got him. We got him, boys. We did, after all, take him out. Pretty nice. And that actually brings our, uh, our total up. And now we could technically buy that Apache if we want to. It's still going to be a little bit risky. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Impulse buy. Impulse buy. I don't recommend impulse buys in this game, but in this case, it absolutely was needed. Um, we're going to have to probably try to get it to the base first, because this entire area, just trying to, to manage uh, our movements in this area with all the mountains and stuff, it's not easy. It's definitely not easy. Another thing to consider is if we can get our Special Forces team out here, where a lot of the enemy seems to be, we can call in A-10 Warthog strikes. We can call in all sorts of assistance to help defeat them. So we should keep that in mind as well. 45 viewers. Very cool, guys. Welcome, everybody. Also, um, welcome to everybody that's watching us on YouTube. It's good to see you guys there as well. I'm going to try to get this guy back home. Sorry, boys. You're walking home. You're definitely walking home. Nice, we got in just in time not to run out of fuel. And the turn. Oh man, look at that. So we've already seen five of these militia units. Six now. Now, the thing about Taliban units, as you can see here, this guy is wounded, but he's not dead. Uh, with Taliban units, it's not enough just to attack them once. You have to attack them multiple times. Uh, so that will explain the confusion there. With militia units, you can kill them on the first blow. And there are certain weapons with the Taliban unit um, that can kill them all at once. I think an airstrike, for instance, can kill them all at once. But I'm not 100% sure. So we could try to send in this uh, ANA unit to fight them. But I think that's probably a bad idea. We'll send them back up to the base. And as for these guys, we will bring in some beautiful emergency supplies for our husky. We need him to keep looking for IEDs either way, so there you go, son. Enjoy those wonderful MREs. And actually, MREs this day and age. Um, does anybody know what an MRE is, number one? I hope we don't have anyone here that's uh, not sure what an MRE is. But uh, basically, an MRE uh, in this day and age is actually really, really edible. Um, I had one when I was back in the States. You can actually buy them at like an Army Navy surplus store. And I think it was uh, rice and beans. Uh, or it was rice, beans, cheese, sort of like a, almost like a, a chili um, concoction. Uh, and basically the way it works is, you know, you, uh, you have to tip the bag a certain way. There's, I don't know the scientific method behind it, but there's, um, there's a sort of bubble of water inside or of some sort of li liquid. Um, and once you pop that bubble, then the bag starts to warm up. You want to basically lay it upright. Um, and then when it's done, you just grab a fork, grab a spoon, and dig into the MRE. And of course, this allows uh, soldiers that are out um, in climates like this, or, uh, you know, Vietnam, for instance, back during the Vietnam War, it allows them to enjoy a meal, a nice warm meal, um, you know, without having to uh, start a fire, etc., give away their position. Um, and I have to say, the, the MREs of, uh, of today are really good. Um, you know, my dad would give me horror stories of his time in Vietnam, and, like, one time they got stuck with eating goat 
um, was the MRE for like three months, and he said he would he never touches goat anymore. He hates the flavor now. Um, but they were basically just stuck. That was the MRE they got. These days, you've got like enchilada, you've got like taco and beans, you've got pizza MREs. It's it, things have really changed. Some MREs are almost inedible, says Fleischpest, and that's probably true. There's always like a, a not so good one. There's always one that people are like, yeah, that one's that. Don't don't get that one. Um, Meals rejected by the enemy, says I sent you Raider. I like that. I like that a lot. Meals rejected by the enemy. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and definitely start attacking with our SEALs. Um, so, or, or our Special Forces team. They could be SEALs, they could be Green Berets, we're not sure. Uh, we're going to go ahead and call in a Warthog Strike. Warthog Too bad. We didn't get them, but you know what? It's the thought that counts. Uh, we've also got another ANA infantry unit here done, ready to go. We will be moving him out soon. And we should get this guy in. Speaking of MREs, this guy's about to starve. We need to get him some food badly. Let's pick him up. Get in, boys. There we go. All right, we could pick this guy up, I'm guessing. And we're going to take him over here. We have not stopped at that village. Uh-oh. What happened? Oh, okay. So this, this helicopter just stopped. Uh, he does have fuel, but no movement points. Not the end of the world. A lot of movement here by the Taliban. I think we can almost be certain that the Taliban are coming from this location. Uh, they definitely have some caves here, without a doubt. Uh, maybe some caves over here, but this area right here is definitely where they're spawning from. So that should help us target uh, the enemy here a little better. He's going to move up a bit. Calling the A-10 Warthogs again. Oh, yes! Taliban skiing. I love Taliban skiing. As you can see, they're not so good at it. They're not fans of, uh, you know, the, the average, let's say, skiing uh, gear. But they still manage. Alright, we're going to call in an airstrike. Uh, first things first, though. I'm going to try to take out this Taliban unit. Because uh, he's already injured. So killing him would help us out big time. Uh, let's target him. Just look at all the Taliban around here. They are all over this mountain, guys. We might have a GG right now. Just because we spotted them. There we go! We got a combat infantry achievement. Uh, and that's actually going to go on the little uniform you have in the beginning of the game. Uh, so you guys have all seen it on the start startup screen of the game. Uh, that uniform holds all the medals you've gotten throughout your 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 time of play. So that's going to show up there. Um, very, very cool. Very cool. Uh, I want to get these guys back into base. And for now, we're just going to hold out. Uh, although, this Apache, we got to be careful because Juliet Squadron here could run out of fuel very quickly. We're probably going to need to bring her back to the main base fairly soon here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, check this area for IEDs. Although I don't think that we have many uh, enemies in this area, honestly. Um, seems to be mostly in the eastern portion bordering Pakistan. Let's drop these boys off. We could still call in an airstrike, so don't give up yet, guys. We're still carrying out an attack. And look at that. That's an enemy technical. That, to me, is much more deadly than any enemy infantry uh, unit. So I'm going to go ahead and target it. Nice! 1,000, guys. Beautiful kill there. Making Afghanistan just a little bit safer. And thank you, everybody in this town, for your support. In fact, I almost feel like sending a supply truck to them uh, to thank them properly, but it's just a little too dangerous. Okay. Take a look here at the chat. It's going to be a five-hour stream. You wish. You wish, P.U.M. Um, let's take a look here. Uh, Sprogue. Ah, Sprogue. How you doing, buddy? You said you'd stop by, and you did. Very cool. Guys, Sprogue is the winner of our Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Tournament. Uh, an absolutely incredible tournament all the way around. I told you guys yesterday, uh, but I wanted to have him actually stop in. It's really cool to have him here. A big round of applause for Sprogue and for the guy he was playing against, who also did an excellent, excellent job. Um, but you can't beat the Sprogue in BSG, let's be honest. You just can't beat the Sprogue. 
Not gonna happen. Copy that. Keep on going. So as of now, undefeated, but give it time. Keep on moving, keep on moving. No BSG option heresy. <laughs> Well, we figured we've played a lot of Battlestar Galactica in the last few weeks, um, and, you know, we, we still love the game. We're still going to play more of it, but um, we want to give you guys an option to play something that's maybe not seen as much, um, you know, something that's a little more rare. And look at this. Just look at all of the enemy units here. we got this guy. We've got this guy. We've got these two guys over here. I mean, this area is crawling with Taliban. I almost want to go ahead and... Even though it's a little bit, well, it's a, it's a lot of money. I think we're going to buy another Special Forces unit and another Blackhawk or go straight for an Apache. Uh, I think I'll go for the Blackhawk because I'm dropping some more Special Forces in that area for sure. So let's pick our boys up. Come on, boys. Let's go. On to battle you go. Trying to look around and see if any of our water towers are damaged. So far, everything's going fine. Uh, we could get the buffalo out. Start building that road. I'm not sure if we're going to have the money for it, but there's only one way to find out. So let's head out here with our buffalo and maybe build a road linking these villages over here to these villages up here. I think that would be very helpful. Let's end the turn. Continue mission. What are you talking about? You ain't continuing no missions. And the turn. Hmm. Oh boy. Taliban unit and big knock for Taliban, guys. Awesome. So our coalition candidate won re-election with 58% of the vote. Uh, intel from villages is the only thing that he is not a fan of. So, of course, uh, the issue here with this particular president is he supports us on just about everything but social reform. He doesn't want the social reform to change. You know, he wants women uh, remaining in burqas. He wants the religious establishment in those towns to remain the same. Uh, he is working. He is willing to help us work with the Taliban. But as far as intel from villages, that's going to go down 20%. So, essentially... A few people that we used to talk to to get information, we're not going to be able to talk to them anymore. Uh, but this guy's been president already, so we're not really learning anything new there. Let's see. Okay, I think I'm going to drop off the special forces team here. Now, we've got to be very careful because we've got... This unit is about to run out of uh, fuel. And I'm not entirely sure if I could reposition once my fuel runs out. Or once I open fire, we'll find out very soon. 750, we definitely hurt the unit, but they're not dead. And I was worried about this. We cannot move. Now, I do believe we get one more chance to move after this. We better hope that's the case. Let's put it that way. Uh, all right, here's a special forces unit. Eyes on numerous Taliban. Call in the Warthogs. No, he got away. He definitely got away. We're going to try again. Ooh, unfortunately, all we're going to be able to do is open fire with our sniper rifles. Not that effective, unfortunately. Um, occasionally, you can wound some enemies, but in this case, we failed miserably. I really hope we can get this guy back. Oh, boy. This guy might be going down. I hope not, but that might be the case. And we do have a sort of a Taliban village up here. It's not a Taliban village. It's just a village asking for help. We want to go and check that out fairly soon. Uh, make sure we don't have any more ruined water towers. Nope, that one's fine. This one's fine. This one in the far east is fine too. Good. Keep on moving, Buffalo. Maybe you can build some additions to our base. So far, in terms of our political points and hearts and minds, we're doing very good. But look at that enemy technical in our way. That's going to be a problem. Oh, yeah, they definitely did some damage. Okay, now we do have mortars here. Affirmative. Got away. Let's move out our ANA. Alpha Tolai. Open fire, boys. Oh, nice. They wounded it. Beautiful. So, wounded technical. 
It's going to be escaping, of course. Ah, thank you for reminding me. Nice. All right, we're going to get this husky just drive up the road, hopefully spot some IEDs. This has definitely been the mission with the least IEDs that we've ever had in this game. It's just not many to go around, um, which is great. I mean, we don't have to worry about them, but at the same time, it's always fun blowing them up uh, without actually getting injured yourself, and it uh, gets you a lot of points. But it looks like right now we're just consistently um, in combat here. End the turn. Oh, boy. Attacking our special forces. We killed one. Beautiful. It's sort of a lone survivor situation. And their IED, or their RPG, I should say, actually missed our chopper. Uh, and I do believe our chopper can still get to the uh, the forward operating base. I hope so. We'll have to wait and see, guys. We definitely build our, our FOB right next to the Taliban. There's no doubt about that. All right, so let's grab our guy. Come on, buddy. You can do this. Nice. Land. You're good. Beautiful. Now, of course, we want to bring in some Warthog Strikes. 62%. Man, the Warthogs have not been performing up to snuff. They're usually extremely effective. Try to open fire. Well, I guess we can't open fire on the technical um, with a sniper rifle. Unfortunately. I'm just keep. I'm gonna keep eyes open here, um, on top of this hill, so that we can spot everything. And there's actually an IED right there. We probably will get there sooner rather than later, but for now we want to move just very slowly, very calculated. All right, pick these fellers up. Come on, let's go, boys. And we're gonna drop them off right over yonder. Here we go. Sure enough, Taliban unit right there. Nothing we could do about it. But it's uh, it's good to see that the love is being spread all around the map. Okay, we could actually target the enemy technical here. Let's see if we can get that mortar working. Nope. Copy that. Eyes on Taliban. All right, more Taliban moving. A lot of enemy technicals here. I mean, they are all over our forward operating base. We need some serious assistance. Now, this is the good point. Look at our available political su support, 8371, and our hearts and minds is 57. We're doing really well. Possibly the best we've done in any of our Afghanistan 11 Let's Plays. So I'm immediately going to... Oh, that's right. We can't save. We can just continue the game. Well, this is definitely a game I hope we have a chance to continue, guys. Now, um, this is actually something I probably should have mentioned this. Um, we mentioned this earlier in the stream, but it was actually technically before the stream began. Um, so basically what we're trying to do, um, me and Muso have been noticing that a lot of the times when I say, guys, we're going to come back and finish this up later, we don't come back. Um, and it's it's not we're not doing it maliciously. It's nothing like that It's just the other things get in the way new games come out, etc. And we sort of need to focus on them Nice kill good job boys um, In this case, I think what we're gonna try to do is when we say we're gonna come back We're actually gonna try to do that I'm not sure if we could do that for Afghanistan 11 unless you guys want to vote for it for Friday um, but for a lot of our newer games we're going to try to set up a schedule where, let's say we play one game at a certain time one week. Uh, maybe next week we'll play that game at the same time, just as an example. Um, so if you guys think that that's a good idea, let us know in the comments, obviously. Uh, let us know in the chat box. It really helps us to, to understand what we should be going for, basically. Let's get this ANA unit back inside. Actually, first of all, where's our mortar? Fire. Oh, yeah, you're hurt. Those Taliban units are hurt. We're going to probably engage them. Oh, we can't cross the river. All right, we'll get these guys back in, get them a nice warm meal. And it looks like that village needs our help. Let's head over there. Did they destroy the water towers? No, they didn't. 
I love it when the the enemy units are so caring that they don't even destroy your water towers. <laughs> like, we don't like these Americans, but they can keep their water. We are not concerned with that. Good idea, says Cloud Cuckoo. Van Bishop suddenly feels the urge to drive a white Toyota pickup. Why is it that they always purchase Toyotas? That's actually a funny point. Um, a lot of the uh, the actual vehicles used um, for IEDs are Toyotas and are pickup trucks. Now, the pickup truck part I understand. I guess it's just because Toyota is a very common pickup truck. Uh, but the Taliban absolutely use Toyota pickup trucks to create technicals. Um, not just the Taliban. I mean, ISIS does the same. Uh, a lot of different organizations in that part of the world uh, use those pickup trucks. So let's take a look here. Not much we could do about the MRAP. We could, however... Well, I'm saying not much we can do. We could repair it with our semi-broken down buffalo. So I'm going to try. I don't think the buffalo can repair himself, sadly. Maybe he can. No, nah, it's just the MRAP. 400 to repair an MRAP. We're almost, it's almost cheaper just to buy another MRAP. So first thing we're going to do, let's get some of this ANA infantry over here. Um, I actually want to drop this unit because they've, they've already gotten in combat. That's why they have that corporal... Um, decal there, so let's try to train these guys. Let's get him out. And as you can see, another really cool thing, a really cool touch, um, on top of the MRAP, since we've got an ANA army unit in here, the flag on the top of the MRAP is also an ANA flag. So I could attack these guys with the MRAP. I'm gonna go for it. Ooh, we lost. We lost! We're Oscar Mike. We're also... Not doing so well in that department. All right, well, we're going to keep crawling around these hills. I'm sure we're going to spot a uh, enemy unit here pretty soon. Let's bring in some more UN supplies to these guys. They're so friendly. Go for it, boys. We could be doing a lot more for the people. I mean, with 8,000, we could be purchasing some Chinooks. In fact, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to buy a Chinook here. This is, I think, in my opinion, and... Um, I'm, I'm, I very much like the uh, the creator of this game, uh, Johan Nagel. A uh, really cool guy. I've actually, you know, had the, the good luck to meet him in person. And the only thing I disagree about him with uh, um, in this particular game is the price of the Chinook. It's just a little too much. Too, uh, you know, it's, now it's 3500 but I mean 2000 And I think the reason um, that he could justify it being so expensive is this is actually capable. As, as you can see, it can deliver aid. It can deliver fuel. It can do all that fun stuff. Um, that otherwise you'd have to leave to a supply truck, um, and it can do it a lot faster. So I'm going to collect some UN aid here, and we're going to try to drop it off. Uh, maybe let's go to this village right here. let us They're not exactly used to seeing us. Let's give them something to be happy about. There you go. Just a nice little fun gift. We don't expect anything from it except your undying loyalty and respect. Okay, let's keep on moving. And sure enough, yeah, sure enough, we're pretty much done here. Now, I am going to bring in a drone, and I'm going to pop it over this area here. Make sure we get as much of a visual as we can. I'm also tempted to go ahead and purchase another Apache. In fact, that's right, we've got an Apache. I forgot about this guy. He's actually got a sergeant rank. That's how good he's doing. So let's move up here. Oh, we still have one fuel remaining. Shame on you, Agrippa. Oh, nice. They missed. We might be able to open fire. I think we got just a little too close. Yeah, they're going to run. Oh, you cowards. And this guy, as you can see, this is the one issue of having an FOB. If you don't have the add-on to refuel your units, they can only refuel by one per turn, which, as you guys can guess, it's, it's not so good. It's, it's actually kind of a bummer. All right, with this uh, unit, I'll pick him up. Come on, guys. This is not a vacation. And we could actually maybe drop these guys off right there. Check up on this village. We know that there, there are IEDs in this area. And we know that this is a very, very... Uh, this is a point the Taliban love to attack from. And sure enough, we might be able to hit this guy with our mortar. No, we already used our mortar round. What if we send in our ANA unit? Nope, he's already moved this turn. What about Alpha Company? Alpha Company, it's all up to you. Oh, unfortunately, we took fire. We're going to have to get that guy back to the main base. Or 
we could maybe bring the buffalo and have him build um, a medical station. Actually, I think that's a really good idea. So let's do that. It's 1,000, but I think it's worth it. And hopefully we can fix these guys pretty quickly. Nice little medical station there. All right, let's end the turn. Oh, boy. Oh, they destroyed our MRAP. Now, it looks like our ANA units did survive. We can be happy for that. But they also just destroyed our water tower. They're definitely going for a major offensive here. Let's drop off some wonderful supplies. These people love us at this point. That's right. I really wish I could fire, guys, but unfortunately, um, taking a shot right now with our Apache would mean that he is definitely going to crash. Uh, so, we've got to get him back to the FOB. Sorry. Uh, this guy will move into the medical station. Hopefully, they can take good care of him. And we'll keep chasing the enemy with our special forces unit. Let's bring in that Warthog. Kill these Taliban. There we go. Nice. Uh, we're also going to take our Buffalo. And try and fix this beautiful, pretty little thing Roger. for 250. And actually, I wouldn't mind getting another buffalo in here just in case this one gets damaged. He's already been damaged once, so one more hit and he's out. Uh, he could, of course, build um, a little add-on. Um, I believe it's going to be this one, the maintenance yard. For 1500 well, we've got money to spend. Let's do it. Fortunately, we're going to have to wait one turn before he gets over there. Let's move these guys around, see if we can spot the enemy. I think we've definitely, if not destroyed their cave systems in this area, we've delivered a major, major blow to them, that's for sure. Could also try to drop our Moab. If we get a big group like that again, we'll drop the Moab. Um, but again, the Moab really negatively affects your relationship with uh, a lot of the people around. So I'd like to not drop it if we can help it. Then again, I'm really tempted to drop that mother of all bombs. I really am. How much does it cost? I think it's five grand. Let's see. Okay, well, we've already called it in. We're going to have to drop it, guys. Wish us luck. No, there's no way we can drop it there. We're going to end up hitting our own units. Okay, so maybe we won't drop the Moab. We'll try one more time. The game will stop us if it's impossible. Here we go. Moab incoming. Oh! Oh, no. This is not good. We have a little unexpected issue here, guys, um, with the Moab coming in. Sorry about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to quit. The Moab just shut the game down. <laughs> it's the mother of all bombs as well as the mother of all destructions of the game itself. Um, we're going to try to jump right in. I think we can just continue our game uh, and just not use the Moab right now. I kind of regretted using it the second I dropped it anyway. It's so expensive. I mean, using the Moab is, is definitely something you want to do very, very rarely. All right, cool. So as you can see, pretty much, yep, same same setup. Beautiful. Uh, we'll drop these guys off. Sure enough, some enemy units are around. And I am going to go ahead and call in the Warthog again. Enemy unit destroyed. We're also going to have to, of course, drop this guy off just like we did in the last turn. Getting shot at by a technical. And we'll take the Buffalo Squadron and, of course, repair our water tower. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's take a look here again. Ah, uh, thanks, guys. You guys are complaining about black screen. That is strange. Um, hold on one second. Thanks, guys. We see it. We're just uh, trying to fix it. Let's 
see if we can get this to work. Next gen fog of war. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm going to do display capture because we are getting a little bit of feedback here. Hmm, this is a strange issue, guys. We've not encountered this before um, because we're trying to get a screen cap and that's not working either. So give me a second here. I'm going to try and move this to the other side of the screen. Let's do that. And we'll try to capture it over here. Really sorry about this, guys. We have not experienced an issue like this in ages. Um, so at least we've got a kind of screen cap over here. I'm just trying to move the game to the other screen and it's not really working. We've got to start locking these task bars. Hold on a second. Lock all task bars. There we go. All right, let's let's see if this works, guys. We're gonna try one more solution here. So, guys, we're gonna try one more solution um, to see if we can pop it open on the other screen. accepting the other oh wait now it's gone again nice okay guys good thing muso here and by the way here's a Hi, chance kids. for you guys to get to talk to him temporarily i love you all see you later <laughs> all right guys we'll get back into this um so we're going to continue our skirmish and we're getting close to the end of the stream here anyway but yeah that was uh, a, a frustrating to say the least uh, issue there i do apologize okay So we're basically just redoing the moves we just did uh, before we had that minor little crash there. First things first, we've got to get these choppers back. I know the enemy's going to try to hit us with their technicals, but I'm going to try to ignore that fire and continue forward. Uh, we'll also call in the Warthog here. Let's do that. Love the sound of that Warthog too. Oh yes, they're all down. Now, my dad never had warthogs, or as far as I know, didn't have warthogs when he was in Vietnam, but he would tell me stories about uh, AC-130s, uh, which more or less have a similar idea to a warthog. Uh, maybe not as cool looking, you know, an AC-130 AC looks like a large passenger plane, but what they would do in Vietnam is basically they would set up a bunch of these AC-130s um, with machine guns all along the plane. So for each window, you'd have a heavy machine gun. And then you'd call in coordinates to a location. Then that AC-130 would drive by the location or drive over it, um, fly over it. I use drive when you're talking about planes. It would fly over that location. Um, and it would actually just devastate an entire area with machine gun fire. 
Um, I think he said it was something like the, the square yardage of a football field. So basically that entire area would be just peppered with uh, very, very, very heavy bullets. Um, clearly a dangerous, dangerous situation. Yeah, that's a good point, Zach. A very good point. Yeah, basically, Kalania, Kalania got it. She got it. I mean, it's, that's basically what it is. It's uh, it's basically a passenger plane with uh, machine guns out the side. Uh, go, tur yeah, anything you can think of. Machine guns, um, rockets, uh, just wh whatever the pilot decides he wants to put on his, uh, his AC-130. Of course, the C-130 um, is the regular passenger plane or used to be a passenger plane. It's really more of a cargo plane, but um, it's, it's done both. Um, and uh, the C-130 doesn't have any of that stuff, so you, it's a pretty safe plane. But there was a lot of that in Vietnam, and he told me that the sound was quite similar to the sound that a warthog makes. Sort of just that buzzing noise, that bzzz. You know, that is a sound, that's the sound of death, is what that is. <laughs> um, either get your bug spray on, or you're about to get hit by some massive, massive uh, ordnance fire. So we are going to go ahead and attack this unit with our special forces. We're attacking downhill. Unfortunately, we did not do well, and our SEAL team is in trouble. They're going to try to get out of here ASAP. Um, as for these guys, I'm going to keep them here. We'll end the turn. Confirm. Oh, my goodness. They're going to try to finish off the SEAL team. Oh, no! Lone survivor. It's a lone survivor situation right there. They managed to take out one of our SEAL teams. I'm going to bring in some uh, rations to this uh, SEAL team. But we're still on top. That's what matters, right? Calling the Warthogs. Ran away. Man. And we've got the beautiful Apache. Of course, he's only got one little bit of fuel. So he's going to have to fire, and he's going to have to get right back to base next turn. But hopefully this shot can take him out. No, we keep getting too close to the enemy. And this actually really frustrates me, because I thought one tile away was enough. But maybe we have to go a whole two tiles away. Um, in Vietnam 65, one tile away is generally enough. Um, but if you get closer than that, then of course you will get shot. Let's open fire. Yes, beautiful, and he just got another rank up. I'm not sure, I believe, uh, three stripes as a sergeant, so a fourth stripes, a fourth stripe would be a master sergeant, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, captain would be, would look a bit different, the captain uh, setup. Lieutenant is before captain. It's definitely not an LT, could be an LT. Uh, three stripes on top, one on the bottom. I don't think so, I think that's a master sergeant. Byron uh, says he'll keep voting for Quadriga for the Friday game. He wants to watch Agrippa wreck some chariots. Oh, man, I do, too. I love Quadriga. Absolutely love it. That would be really fun. Uh, okay, I think we're pretty much done here, guys. If anybody has any questions, um, comments, suggestions, uh, please let us know. Uh, once again, I want to be very clear that we are going to try to do a more scheduled approach to the stream here in the future. Um, so we need your, basically your feedback. You know, do you guys prefer when we do a stream and we just kind of play basically whatever we feel like? Um, or do you guys prefer when we follow up with a stream? Um, so for instance, if we do a Field of Glory stream and we don't accomplish or finish the battle, do you guys want us to finish that battle in the next stream? Or do you want us to try something new? Uh, again, it's totally up to you. And, and the main point of these streams, well, it's actually twofold. It's number one, we want to show our community, you guys, that we care about you. We really do. Um, you know, we love doing these streams. Uh, number two, in fact, we love these streams so much, we do them at home sometimes. Um, and number two is basically to give you guys an idea of what games are out now, you know, especially with new releases, uh, or even with Afghanistan 11 here, that's not a new release, but maybe some people haven't heard about it. We like to sort of broaden the horizon of what is um, uh, wargaming. And look at that. Oh, that MRAP definitely hit a pothole. It wasn't, it wasn't an idea. It was just a very, very bad Afghan pothole. Believe me, uh, the roads in Afghanistan are hell. It's really tough to move through them. Um, okay, guys. So here we go. No worries, Laird. Uh, Zach Blood says uh, he's easy either way. Fine by me. 
Ah, so Cable Nexus makes a really good point. He wants a tutorial uh, for some games, and we really appreciate that feedback. That's something we've considered for a number of different games, um, and we'd probably put that on our YouTube channels. Uh, but of course, you know, generally, like with games like Afghanistan 11, it doesn't really seem to me anyone would need a tutorial. Maybe you do, maybe like a basic how to build a convoy tutorial, which I think we actually have somewhere on the channel. But for games, especially like the Operational Art of War 4, um, even games like Mari Nostrum, we, we could definitely provide some sort of small tutorial. But I think that's a really good suggestion for the channel itself, and maybe a good suggestion for streams in the future, sort of some tutorial streams. Um, if you play War in the East, make it for starters and tips, trucks for experienced players. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Absolutely, Cable Nexus. Um, I like that suggestion. Yeah, we could do something like that. Now, of course, Command I can't do, but um, War in the East I can definitely do. Um, and I can definitely do the Operational Art of War 4. I know enough about both to be able to, to teach you guys something, I think. I hope so. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for stopping by the stream. We always appreciate your, uh, you guys coming in here and making your presence known, of course. Uh, and hopefully in the uh, upcoming stream, you guys will have a blast. I see a lot of people are really 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 excited um about the games that we're doing um coming up here this week and thanks cable you're absolutely right it's uh i'm a very fast talker and sometimes i let it get ahead of myself i try to slow down when I, like right now i'm trying to slow down but uh it's it's definitely one of my uh one of my flaws it's just a uh, fast talk in agrippa uh, maybe I should get into one of those auctions. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 20, 20, 20, 20, 30, 30, 30, 40, 40, 40. It's something to consider, right? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care and have a great, great day.